you again. I've heard from Miss Eris that under your superb management, the museum is on the verge of regaining the thriving crowds of its heyday. If the momentum continues, and if the History Culture Hall can reopen on schedule, the museum's complete revival is surely just around the corner. So... You guessed it already. I'm afraid there's been another theft. Like the previous cases, a valuable item was stolen from our exhibit. This time in the History Culture Hall. The item in question has a connection to you. <laughs> Have I piqued your curiosity? It'll be easier to explain once we're actually in the History Culture Hall. Why don't I take you there now? With an exhibit like this, all Bellavagians will know your story. You can probably guess from the name that the History Culture Hall houses artifacts, replicas, and documents that are of great historical significance to Bellabog. Every passing day, we Bellabogians must continue to endure the city's harsh environment. The trials and experiences of our ancestors serve as a reminder that the path of survival belongs to every generation of our people. Every child in Bellabog should visit this exhibit at least once. <sighs> no, once isn't nearly enough. This is the item in question. This projector is a limited edition version, custom made for the museum. The only one of its kind in the whole of Bellabog. It can produce images with a resolution up to... Oh, sorry. I'm doing my tour guide thing again. I'm sure someone as well-traveled as yourself has seen much fancier equipment than this. Oh, uh, that's not the issue. The issue isn't the projector, but the microfilm that goes into it. It's the most crucial piece of this exhibit, and it was stolen. There were some very valuable images on that film, and we hadn't gotten around to making a backup. I must admit, the thieves chose a good target, and they were fast and efficient. Slide projection is a new addition to the museum. It was intended to be a surprise for visitors when the History Culture Hall reopened. If we don't recover the microfilm, the hall's opening will have to be postponed indefinitely. Some of the images stored on that film are related to you, Miss March 7th, and Master Don Hong. The curators of the museum wanted to take this opportunity to tell the story of the Astral Express's visit to Bellabog. Uh, th that's beside the point. Uh, is that your phone? Was that a message from Lady Branya? Hmm. This theft case has been dragging on for too long. She must have decided to intervene. If she can delegate more resources to the investigation, that should help it move forward faster. No point in waiting around here then. Let's go pay Lady Branya a visit.
welcome. If I'm not mistaken, the two of you just rushed over here from the History and Culture Museum? I appreciate your coming here on such short notice. I should have gotten involved earlier, but I was tied up with other responsibilities. My apologies for letting you take on the investigation without proper support. Lady Branya, we never saw it like that. <laughs> There's no one else here, Pela. No need for such formality. <laughs> okay, Miss Branya. <laughs> I heard that you helped recover a number of valuable items for the museum, and that you've been running the museum as a part-time manager? Do you have any insights into this serial theft case? Is that so? I see. In any case, this fiasco has been going on right under our noses for too long. Regardless of how cunning and talented the culprit may be, we must draw them out and demonstrate the resolve of the architects. I will issue an immediate directive to mobilize all on-duty Silverman guards in the city to conduct a door-to-door -door investigation. You're familiar with many of the locals in the administrative district, right? If possible, I'd like you to head to the city center and see if they have any clues to offer us. Understood. We'll head there at once, Miss Branya. <sighs> Guess you're stuck with me again for this assignment. Let's meet up at Fountain Plaza. This place is an endless stream of people. Where do we start? Agreed. That'll be more efficient. I remember lots of folks like to relax around the plaza. Let's head there first. I remember you. Do you have any questions after reading the Scam Prevention Guide? Perhaps you've decided to join the Dark Blue Scam Victims Association. How could I not? Precious items from the History and Culture Museum have been stolen one after another, and the culprit remains at large, despite the Silvermane Guard's noblest efforts to track them down. Ugh, I'll tell you the truth. I've been preparing to publicly accuse the person responsible for this whole thing for two days now. Huh? Oh wait, so you have incriminating evidence against the culprit? <sighs> evidence? Who needs evidence? Let me tell you, there is only one person in all of Bellabar who could do such a thing. That shameless blue-haired fraudster! Oh... You guys are here to investigate the case? Perfect! I'll give you a list of the culprit's scams, too. Sorry, sir. Today we're only here to investigate the museum thefts. And we can't close the case without evidence. If you come across any reliable clues, please report them to an on-duty Silvermane guard. Let's get going. Wanna know more about the after school class? Ready to sign the petition? Have any other questions? Ah, you mean the items that have been disappearing mysteriously from the History and Culture Museum? I heard tell. I wonder if they got their hands on the original manuscripts of Tale of the Winterland. Absolutely not. Don't worry, ma'am. I will protect those manuscripts with my life. Oh, wow. That's a relief to hear. I didn't realize you were so passionate. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. Uh, back to the topic at hand. Do you have any clues that could be linked to the theft of the museum's artifacts? Have you noticed anything unusual lately? Well, let me think. The editorial department has been recruiting recently. The new editor intern was scolded by the editor-in-chief a few times. And then... Uh, sorry, these are all everyday occurrences. I really don't know of any noteworthy clues. Maybe you could try asking the other people around here? I see. Sorry for taking up your time. Let's move along then.
children of the Everwinter City, proud citizens of the preservation, hold your heads up high. Grind not against the mundane vulgarities of your everyday lives. Always remember, deep in your hearts, the teachings of the Architects and the Supreme Guardian. Oh, if it isn't the savior of Bellabog, the Guardian's honored guest, child of the galaxy and stars. Welcome back to our eternally snow-covered, yet forever beautiful winter metropolis. Um, can you please answer the question we just asked? I haven't heard of any stolen artifacts. These days, I'm too busy praising the grace of the preservation to be distracted by worldly matters. However, if your hearts are troubled by this affair, then I hope that Klepoth will bestow their blessings upon you both, and that you may soon find the evildoer who committed such a crime. Uh, uh, thanks for your well wishes. Let's move on. Uh, another half day gone, and nothing to show for it. Ugh. Culprit is still hiding in the shadows. Can't we find even one lead? Ah, if it isn't Bella Bog's most adorable public servant and the magnificent outsider, good day to you. You know us? Young lady, I have seen you on many occasions near the Everwinter Monument teaching children the history of Bella Bog. <laughs> I am truly in awe of your knowledge and patience. <laughs> okay, thanks for the compliment, I guess. May I ask, with whom do we have the pleasure of speaking? I am Wallace Cambridge Limestein, the 25th head of the Limestein family. I am honored to make your acquaintance. And yes, I am familiar with this outsider next to you. She often walks right past me without so much as a greeting. <laughs> I am Wallace Cambridge Limestein, the 25th head of the Limestein... All right, all right, we got it. Mr. Limestein, is there something you want to discuss with us? As a matter of fact, I do. I noticed you two had been wandering around Executive Plaza for some time now, stopping to ask questions at every turn, so I surmised you were investigating something important. As it so happens, I witnessed a strange incident recently that left me quite puzzled. And after reflecting on it for a time, I decided it would be most appropriate to inform public officials. This incident... is it related to the museum thefts? I can't say for sure that it's directly related, but a friend of mine I no longer hear from used to frequent the museum and often talked about its exhibits with a group of us tea lovers. So by no longer hear from, you mean you've been unable to get in touch with this friend of yours? Precisely. His name is Norbert. We used to chat during lunch breaks in the lobby of the Goethe Hotel, along with a few other high-class individuals, of course. And one day, Norbert suddenly stopped showing up to our tea parties. It was as though he disappeared into thin air. I still remember the last thing he said to me. Limestein, listen to me. One must be ambitious in life. I'm gonna do something big for once. Be ambitious in life? Do something big for once? Coming from the mouth of a wealthy gentleman, that sounded rather curious to me. This Norbert guy, do you know what his line of work was? I'm not entirely sure. I never asked. What a preposterous statement. You wouldn't understand. Friendship between gentlemen is as pure as water. We are all dignified people. Why bother with such trivial matters? Ugh. In the eyes of most people, there's a world of difference between trivial matters and a career. I have recorded all the clues you provided, Mr. Limestein. Thank you for putting your trust in the Silvermane Guards. We will keep you informed if there are any developments in the investigation. No, no, I should be thanking you, young lady of the guards. 
Well then, if that's all, I shall take my leave. I wonder if this friend of Mr. Wallace has anything to do with the museum thefts. That's enough detective work for today. Questioning more people would just be a waste of energy. Let's go report back to Lady Branya. You both for your hard work. Did you find out anything in the administrative district? We didn't find anything directly related to the museum thefts, but there was one thing worth noting. I see. It was the man from the Limestein family who provided the information. Norbert. Norbert. I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Please give me a moment to see if I can recall. Ah, I remember now. The Minister of Transportation, Noel, has a nephew named Norbert. I believe he's currently working in the Municipal Department as a Transportation Coordinator. The leader of a city should be familiar with the status and division of labor of her subordinates. That's just part of the job. Norbert's position is indeed an idle one. So it's no wonder he has time to socialize with members of the Limestein family. If what Wallace said is right, then Norbert must have been missing for several days already. There must be someone who knows where he is, even if they want to keep the young man's secret. They'll cough it up with the right kind of encouragement. Kyle, can I ask you a favor? I would like you to visit the residence of Mr. Noel and ask around regarding the whereabouts of Mr. Norbert. Understood, Madam Guardian. Lady Branya, Miss Pela, I have returned. You were quite expedient, Kyle. Did you find anything out from the Department of Transportation? It took a little prodding, but a few of the more timid attendants started speaking up. They say that Mr. Norbert was indeed leaving at odd hours recently. Whenever someone would ask where he was headed, he'd mumble something about going to the shopping street to inspect the site. The attendants think he might have a love interest, someone he doesn't want his family to know about. They haven't mentioned anything to the Minister of Transportation. Going out at unusual hours, the shopping street, could it be? I have a request. I'd like the two of you to scout out Backwater Pass and see whether anything is happening there. While the two of you were busy questioning people in the city, I received some tip-offs. One source said that suspicious people were recently seen sneaking around the Fragmentum Corrosion Zone, and that the Silverman guards didn't prevent them from entering. Together with Norbert's mumblings about a shopping street, I think all these clues are pointing in one direction. So this Mr. Norbert could well be the museum thief we're looking for? We can't hold off a moment longer. Hurry, let's go arrest that scoundrel. My apologies, I have a lot of business to attend to at present. I won't be joining you. Good luck recovering the stolen items. Can't delay a moment longer. We need to move now. Uh, something doesn't feel right. It's obviously an abandoned shopping street, but it also feels like people were here not too long ago. We must be cautious. Whether the culprit is Norbert or someone else, he certainly has no shortage of helpers. Shh! There are people talking inside. Let's see if we can hear them. But, but sir, pretending to be a Silvermane guard is a serious crime. Stop acting like a wimp. You think you can make a fortune with that kind of attitude? Don't overthink things. Just play your part. Today's password is 
Roast the sausage, not the bread. You got that? Got it, sir. Roast the sausage, not the bread. Don't let anything in that doesn't know the password. Not even a fly. You got that? Don't worry, Mr. Norbert. I understand. So it is Norbert after all. And he's making his accomplice impersonate a Silvermane guard. The audacity. He found the culprit. Now we just have to catch him red-handed. Here, the thunder. You won't get away. Battles are chess games. No two are alike. Hey, you two, don't move. Must be the accomplice. Let's think fast. Say the password, or get out of here! This isn't any old shopping street, you know. Huh? I... I yes, that's correct. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, you're gonna let us in now? We need to talk to Mr. Norbert about some important business-related matters. Wait, did you just say Mr. Norbert? Who are you guys? This whole operation, the boss hasn't shown his face once. How could a couple of outsiders just walk in knowing his name? Looks like our cover's blown. Guess we'll have to do this the hard way. Show no mercy. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. We'll probably end up running into more of Norbert's goons up ahead. We should proceed with caution. Among the sea of butterflies, illusions of the past. Here is thunder. You won't get away. Show no mercy. A sharp scythe needs targets. Look, it's Norbert again. Let's see what he's talking about this time. And the film? Is it packed and ready to go? Right here, boss. The buyer's arriving soon. Here, this way. Very good, very good. Well done. Patience. Soon we will all be rich. Film, did you hear that? That film he mentioned must be the same one that was stolen from the museum. Why would someone from such a wealthy family do something like this for money? It's unbelievable. We have to find a way to stop this before they sell the film. So Conflict is pitiless. Sharp Scythe needs targets. Wait, don't make a move yet. We should take some pictures as evidence in case the culprit denies the charges. Your equipment probably has better specs than mine. I'll leave the picture taking to you. And everyone else here, turn around and face me. Uh, put your hands where I can see them. 
What's going on? Who are you two? What's going on here, Norbert? Didn't you say your security was impenetrable? Minions? I, I mean, Silvermane guards! Get rid of these intruders immediately! You've got a lot of nerve drawing your weapons in front of an intelligence officer of the Silvermane guards! Come on! Let's give these imposters a taste of justice! <laughs> Is that it? Good boy! Disappear among the sea of butterflies! Illusions of the past! Here, this thunder! Show no mercy! Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. There's no point in resisting, Mr. Norbert. Your accomplices have been subdued. There's nowhere to run. You had the audacity to tell your men to disguise themselves as Silvermane guards. I'll be interested to see what kind of sentence the adjudication panel gives you. I... You... Oh, th this isn't right. You have no evidence of wrongdoing. We're just here to... Still in denial? Your secret dealings have been photographed. We have all the evidence we need. Is there anything else you want to say? I... Oh... I... I knew I couldn't trust you hooligans. Even the simplest of sales was too much for you to handle. Silvermane Guard Lady, I surrender. Take the microfilm back to the museum. I'm sorry. I only ask one thing. Please don't hand me over to my uncle. With Klepoth as my witness, uncle would be so angry he'd turn me into a leather jacket. Hmm. That's not up to me. It was a difficult journey, but it had a happy ending. Not only did we manage to recover the microfilm, but we also caught the culprit behind the museum thefts. And that's something worth celebrating. However, I'm still a little confused. Mr. Norbert is wealthy and opportunistic, but how did he manage to find so many accomplices and organize such a large-scale smuggling operation? These questions can wait until the interrogation. As for you and me, our work ends here. Thanks for your efforts. Come on, let's take the microfilm back to the museum. It works! The slides play without a hitch. The microfilm is undamaged. Once the projector is restored, the History Culture Hall can reopen to the public. Then visitors can enjoy all three of the museum's most important exhibits. I want to thank you again. On behalf of all the museum staff and all of the citizens of Bellabog. If it weren't for your help, I'm afraid many of the exhibits in this museum would have been lost. I'm just stating the obvious. The way I see it, the museum's reopening is a very significant event, and worth remembering more than any other time in the past. A whole generation has grown up in the underworld in the last decade or so, and they never had the privilege of seeing these precious works of art and historical treasures. What you've done has helped bridge a huge gap for them. So, even if it seems small to you, you did a very great thing here. <laughs> <clears throat> That's enough praise for now. Anyway, if you did want to continue working as a part-time manager and handle the daily operations of the History Culture Hall, I recommend talking to Miss Eris. It's not like we don't have any other suitable candidates for the position. Isn't it great you can help us with such an enjoyable job? Ah, and by the way, I'll keep you informed if we pry anything noteworthy out of that Mr. Norbert guy. See you later.